Hi, I'm Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. This video is all about migrating Joomla 1.5 to Joomla 2.5. If you've been considering migrating to Joomla 2.5, then you've probably been checking out some of the migration tools out there. Um, this tutorial is going to be talking about J2XML. And first, I want to explain why I'm using this component to migrate my Joomla content to Joomla 2.5. So, J2XML is all about just migrating the content, like the articles and the categories. And that's pretty much all, all I need in this instance. So if you're trying to migrate an entire site, including modules, components, things that are you know out of the out of the range of just articles, then by all means go ahead and give J upgrade a try. Um, there is some mixed opinions on, on using JUpgrade to migrate to Joomla 2.5, but uh, that's up to you to decide. Um, in my case, I, I feel the best way to migrate a site is to pretty much just build it over from scratch. But if you do have a lot of content, a lot of articles, then you're definitely going to want to export those articles from Joomla 1.5 and import them into 2.5. And J2XML is perfect for that. So the steps we're going to do is first we're going to install the J2XML exporter on our Joomla 1.5 site to export our content. And then we're going to install the J2XML importer component to our Joomla 2.5 site to import that content. So let's go ahead and get started. J2XML component from the Joomla extension directory. Just search for J2XML. And right now we're looking at the export component for Joomla 1.5. We are in our Joomla 1.5 site, so let's install the uh, J exporter component. Installation was successful, yes. I think uh, it's going smooth so far. Let's, let's check out the component. And on the J2XML site, there is a, a bit of instructions. If you go to uh, Joomla, down here in this menu, J2XML, how to's, how to export articles. This page will just go over the basics of what you need to do. So it looks like first we need to enable the system plugin. And once we do that, we can select articles or entire categories or sections to export. And enable the plugin first. Okay, so the first step in exporting our content is to enable the J2XML system plugin. And I just went to extensions plugin manager and I will just search for it. I believe it's this one. I'm not sure about this other plugin. I'm just going to leave it disabled for now. It may be for some other functionality that we don't need. So let's go back to the J2XML. Right here on Article Manager, you'll see these new buttons, Export and Send. These buttons will also appear on the Category Manager and the Section Manager. So if you want to export an entire section or category and all the articles that, that are inside of them, then you'd go ahead and, and do it from there. Let me just export articles from a single category. And voila, that did work. We have an XML file. All right, so the next step is to import this into our Joomla 2.5 site. But first, 
we'll need to install the J2XML 2.5 importer component. So let's go ahead and do that. Listed as a separate component on the Joomla extensions directory. But it's all on the same site. We are on our Joomla 2.5 site where we will be importing the articles into. So let's install the J2XML importer. Fast and successful. Great. So on the website there is a little how-to section for the J2XML importer. It explains how to go about importing your content to 2.5. It's pretty basic. I think I can figure it out. So choose our options here first. Make sure everything is set up properly. Articles. Yes, override. Yes. Now this option here, keep the original user IDs. I think this has to do with the ID of the article in the uh, in the system. And sometimes these IDs show up in your in your URL. So for example, right here, these IDs, this number here, that's that's the ID of the article. So I'm going to check the option to keep those. And the reason why I'm doing that is actually for SEO. I, I want to try to keep my articles with the same uh, URLs as much as possible without having to do too many 301 redirects. So I think this might help with that. Let's go ahead and choose the XML file that was exported from our Joomla 1.5 site. And here we go, import. Our user that created these articles was successfully imported. The section and the category that these articles belong to was imported. And all of the articles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's double check that. And that's right, there's 12 articles. All right, and here's our articles. It did create that category for us. Pretty sweet. Hmm. I'm very happy with the way this went. It went smooth. Uh, there was, wasn't was any problems, really. Um, I'm mainly surprised because I've heard so many horror stories of people trying to upgrade or migrate their, their 1.5 site to Joomla 2.5 uh, unsuccessfully. And um, most of those horror stories came from using a component called JUpgrade. I don't, I've never used this, so I can't really give uh, an opinion on this, but based on some of the reviews here, and what the component actually does, it may be a little too uh, advanced for what you need. Again, you know, the reason why Joomla 1.5 site needs to be migrated to 2.5 is because it's a completely different system. So if you use a component like JUpgrade, it's, it's going to try to upgrade your, it's going to try to move your components and your extensions and your modules over too. And a lot of those extensions may not be compatible with Joomla 2.5 and especially your template. Your template is probably not going to work with 2.5 so you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup and a lot of manual stuff so I recommend just building your site from scratch, getting a trying to find a compatible template that looks like yours um, or maybe your template actually has a 2.5 version and um, you know if you do have a lot of articles go ahead and use the J2 XML exporter and importer that'll at least get all your content in there and everything else you can just set up from scratch and that's why it's called a migration 
and not an upgrade. All right, that's about it. This has been Scott Greenwald from JumaDirect.com. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a comment below or share it or do both. We'll see you next time.